There are six functions in trigonometry. First one is sin theta. Sin theta. Next one is cosecant theta. Next one is tan theta. Cot theta. Cos theta. and second theta. This angle is known as angle of elevation. Then this side is known as opposite side. This side is known as adjacent side which is opposite to the 90 degrees is nothing but hypotenuse. Definitions given like this sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse that equal to AB by AC. Cosecant theta reverse hypotenuse by opposite side that is AC by AB. Tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side that is AB by BC cot theta equal to reverse to this one adjacent side by opposite side that is BC by AB. Next one cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse that is BC by AC secant theta reverse to this hypotenuse by adjacent side that is AC by BC. BC. Whereas in this triangle, this is angle of depression. Then this will be opposite side, this will be adjacent side, this will be hypotenuse. Now sin theta equal to what is that one opposite side by hypotenuse. What is the opposite side in this triangle that is BC by hypotenuse value is AC. Cosecant theta reverse to sine hypotenuse by opposite side that is AC by BC. Next one tan theta tan theta means opposite side by adjacent side. Here in this triangle opposite side is BC and adjacent side is AB. Next one cot theta cot theta reverse to the tan theta adjacent side by opposite side that is AB by BC. Now here cos theta equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. What is adjacent side in this AB? Hypotenuse value AC. Now last function secant theta. What is that one? hypotenuse by adjacent side that is nothing but AC by AB. We will see one example. We will see one example. Suppose 
sin theta equal to 3 by 5 given that is nothing but how much opposite side by hypotenuse we need to find other side therefore side equal to root of hypotenuse square minus side square what is this formula this is Pythagoras theorem already we know hypotenuse value equal to 5 and the opposite side is 3 substituting here root of 5 square minus 3 square we can apply the a square minus b square formula here root of what is the formula a plus b into a minus b write it here that is 8 into 2 root 16 that equal to 4 now we can write the remaining values cos theta is required cos theta means what is the adjacent value here 4 4 by 5 secant value 5 by 4 cosecant value 5 by 3 tan theta value now tan theta equal to 3 by 4 and cot theta value 4 by 3. This is the first basic out of three basics this is the first basic model. In the initial stages small small changes from trigonometry to other trigonometric function will keep you in the happy mode. We will see that one first one tan theta. What is the basic definition given for that? Opposite side by adjacent side. Here we are dividing numerator and denominator by hypotenuse. Opposite side by hypotenuse whole by adjacent side by hypotenuse. Generally, Opposite side by hypotenuse means how much? That is sin theta by adjacent side by hypotenuse is nothing but cos theta. You can express tan theta as sin theta by cos theta. Next one cot theta. What is the basic definition? That is a reverse to the tan adjacent side by opposite side here also we are doing the same one adjacent side by hypotenuse whole by opposite side by hypotenuse that is nothing but check it cos theta by sin theta tan as sin theta by cos theta cot as cos theta by sin theta only two functions no remaining also we can change sin theta basic definition opposite side by hypotenuse that we can write it as 1 by hypotenuse by opposite side this opposite side automatically will go up we can change opposite by hypotenuse as 1 by hypotenuse by opposite side that is nothing but 1 by cosecant theta sin theta you can express it as 1 by cosecant theta now cosecant theta will check cosecant theta basic definition hypotenuse by 
opposite side and you can express this as 1 by opposite side by hypotenuse that is 1 by sin theta you can express cosecant theta as 1 by sin theta sin theta as 1 by cosecant theta for that reason we are calling these two functions as reciprocal functions next one tan theta opposite side by adjacent side that too you can express it as 1 by opposite side by adjacent side by opposite side that is 1 by adjacent by opposite side nothing but cot theta cot theta next basic definition adjacent side by opposite side that you can express it as 1 by opposite side by adjacent side opposite by adjacent nothing but tan theta 1 by tan theta tan theta is the reciprocal of cot theta as well as cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta that's why these two functions are reciprocal functions next one cos theta cos theta adjacent side by hypotenuse that you can express it as 1 by hypotenuse by adjacent side this is nothing but secant theta means 1 by secant theta next secant theta equal to hypotenuse by adjacent side that equal to 1 by adjacent side by hypotenuse that is 1 by cos theta you can express cos theta as 1 by secant theta secant theta as 1 by cos theta for that reason these two functions are known as reciprocal functions now check it here in the previous stages tan theta as sin theta by cos theta cot theta as cos theta by sin theta tan theta as 1 by cot theta cot theta as 1 by tan theta you can express small small changes in the initial stage you can get the happiness now we will go to the another one big one sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 if you ask any student those who are related to the mathematics they can say sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 if you put a question how means they will because no most of the students can't tell that matter now i will express that one i will explain that one also now what is the sin square theta value means opposite side by hypotenuse whole square plus adjacent side by hypotenuse whole square now lcm of the both places is hypotenuse whole square since two denominator values are same you can add the numerators opposite side whole square plus adjacent side whole square by using the right angle triangle property opposite side square plus adjacent side square equal to hypotenuse square by denominator how much is there hypotenuse square you can cancel both of them after cancellation that value will be 1 like that another another identity is also there that is secant square theta that is 
secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. Same secant theta means adjacent side by sorry secant theta means <coughs> hypotenuse whole square by adjacent whole square minus this one opposite side whole square by adjacent side whole square. Now here also finding LCM, LCM is adjacent side whole square. This is hypotenuse square. minus opposite side square by using the right angle triangle property hypotenuse square minus opposite side square equal to adjacent side square by adjacent side whole square whole square these two will get cancel answer equal to 1. Next one, cosecant square theta, cosecant square theta minus cot square theta equal to 1. Simple, apply the same logic. What is the cosecant square theta value? Adjacent side, sorry, hypotenuse square by opposite side square minus cot theta means adjacent side whole square by opposite side whole square that equal to finding LCM hypotenuse whole square minus adjacent side whole square by opposite side whole square. By applying the property of right angle triangle, the LHS, the numerator value opposite side whole square by opposite side whole square that equal to 1. Here onwards we will do the small small changes. First identity is what? Sin square theta, sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Shifting one term to the other side. Therefore, sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Therefore, sin theta equal to root of 1 minus cos square theta. Next, cos square theta. equal to 1 minus sin square theta implies cos theta equal to root of 1 minus sin square theta. Next identity secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1 implies secant square theta equal to 1 plus tan square theta. Now secant theta equal to root of 1 plus 
tan square theta like tan square theta equal to secant square theta minus 1 implies tan theta equal to root of secant square theta minus 1. Now expression of now expression of trigonometric functions into other trigonometric functions. Take sin theta. Express sin theta in terms of sin theta that is sin theta equal to sin theta. Now sin theta in terms of cos theta root of 1 minus cos square theta sin theta in terms of secant theta root of 1 by minus 1 by secant square theta you can write cos square theta as secant square theta. Now find LCM root of secant square theta minus 1 by secant square theta. Sin theta in terms of tan theta. Secant square theta minus 1 equal to tan square theta under root secant square theta equal to 1 by 1 plus tan square theta this is also under root therefore sin theta equal to when tan square theta is coming out from the root is tan theta by we can't take out this total from root value. We can write it as directly 1 plus tan square theta. Tan square theta. Sin theta in terms of tan theta over. Sin theta in terms of cos theta will write it. Sin theta equal to from here only tan theta as 1 by cot theta. whole by root of 1 by 1 plus 1 by cot square theta. Now one by cot theta whole by root of cot square theta plus 1 by root of cot square cot square theta that equal to 1 by cot theta whole by root of 1 plus cot square theta into whole by root of cot square theta. Now this cot square theta and cot theta will get cancelled 1 by 1 plus cot square theta. expression of sin theta in sin theta over cos theta over secant theta over cot theta over cot theta over 1 2 3 4 5 next one sin theta in terms of cosecant theta that equal to 1 by cosecant theta 
like that you can change any function into the any other trigonometric functions. Next we will check it cos theta this is second one cos theta in terms of cos theta that is cos theta only cos theta in terms of sin theta nothing but root of 1 minus sin square theta cos theta in terms of secant theta 1 by secant theta cos theta in terms of tan theta 1 by root of 1 plus tan square theta why secant theta we know that as 1 plus tan square theta under root cos theta in terms of cot theta cos theta in terms of cot theta 1 plus 1 by cot square theta under root that is LCM is the cot square theta automatically that will go up cot square theta whole by root of 1 plus cot square theta here check it cos theta in terms of cos theta over cos theta in terms of cos theta over cos theta in terms of sin theta over cos theta in terms of secant theta over tan theta over cot theta over next one cos sin secant cosecant cot cos as cos 2 3 4 5 6 cot 2 3 4 5 cos theta in terms of cosecant theta root of 1 minus 1 by cosecant square theta that is nothing but 1 minus sin square theta find LCM again cosecant square theta will be the LCM that is automatically cosecant square theta under root whole by root of cosecant square theta minus 1 like that you can express any trigonometric functions into any other trigonometric functions next one values of the trigonometric values of t functions now if you know one sin theta or cos theta if you know one you can get the remaining things sin theta we know the degrees 0 degrees we know 30 degrees we know 45 degrees we know 60 degrees we know, 90 degrees we know. Here non-zero numbers how many are there? 4 are there. 30, 45, 60, 90. For that reason you have to divide the total values by 4. Means, sorry, sorry, here. 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
non zero values four are there so that reason we are dividing by four by four by four by four by four after that you have to keep the square root zero by anything equal to zero root of one is one root of four equal to two these two will go two times in this here numerator value balance is one one root is one two root is root two here three value three root is not there root three by four is this perfect square at value equal to one here four four will get cancelled here value equal to one you can get this what is the meaning sin zero equal to zero sin 30 equal to 1 by 2 sin 45 equal to 1 by root 2 sin 60 equal to root 3 by 2 cos 90 sin 90 equal to 1 in that way you can take cos also but cos reverse there also we know 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees we know four non zero values are three. four, three, two, one, zero. Here also you have to do divide by four, by four, by four, by four, by four. Now after that roots are compulsory. Four by four, four by four one, root of one equal to one. Root three by two. This two will go two times in this. Here balance is one, one by root two. One by two. Zero. What is the meaning? Cos zero equal to one. Cos thirty equal to root three by two. Cos forty five equal to one by root two. Cos sixty equal to one by two cos 90 equal to 0 quite reverse to the sign check it 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 here the reverse order came 1 root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 0 next one cosecant values are reverse needed reverse to the sign sign 0 how much 0 here 1 by 0 Now, what is the sign 30 degrees value 1 by 2? This is 2 by 1 reverse order. Next here 1 by root 2 means root 2. Here 2 by root 3. Here 1 only. Next one second. Reverse to the cos cos 0 how much 1 just by second to 0 equal to 1 cos 30 equal to how much root 3 by 2 here 2 by root 3 here root 2 here 2 here 1 by 0 tan values tan theta just now only we discussed that is sin theta by cos theta. Now sin 0 how much? 0. Cos 0 equal to how much? 1. Now 0. Tan 0? 0. Tan 30? Tan 30 means sin 30 by cos 30. Sin 30 value how much? Sin 30 value 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2. Now, tan 45. 
1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2. Say tan 60 needed. Tan 60 means sin 60 by cos 60. Sin 60 how much? Root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2. Now tan 90 needed. Sin 90 by cos 90. Sin 90 value 1, cos 90 value 0. That is 0. Tan 0, 0. This 2, 2 can get cancelled. Tan 30, 1 by root 3. You can cancel root to root here. The tan 45 equal to 1. Here also you can cancel 2, 2. That two. Root 3, tan 60, 60 value. This is not defined. Next one, cot theta values. Cot theta. Reverse to the 10. Infinite. Root 3. 1. 1 by root 3. 0. This is the basic trigonometry totally over. Thank you.